Last year, was, uh, we launched our first product, the Embo tr uh, thrombectomy device, Atlink, and we've actually been here um, every year since we were founded in 2009. So for the last couple of years, 2014, 2015, we've really focused on building our commercial presence in Europe. And um, 2016, 2017, we'll see us deepening those relationships, but really we're turning our focus also to the US. So we have our um, Arise 2 pivotal study um, up and running now, and we're enrolling patients very well into that. And we're also looking at, uh, we've started to build out our US commercial team. Um, so um, those are the big steps for us going forward. And by 2018, we expect to have a very strong presence in both continents. Meetings like this are absolutely uh, really the bread and butter, and especially for um, people on the R&D side. You know, our commercial team and our sales and marketing team have a lot of chance to interact with physicians, whereas um, this is an opportunity for us to, to interact in a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a more research level. We're delighted with how things are, are going in Europe, and um, you know, that's one of the reasons, obviously, why we're enrolling in our, in our pivotal study, to gather the clinical, the clinical data and evidence that goes behind it. And, um, you know, and we're not stopping there. We're, I mean, for us, it's really, really important, and our success is going to be built on, on what we do in innovation, and we intend to invest heavily in innovation going forward. So later this year, we'll be launching our second generation of the Embotrap device, and that'll be quickly followed by a, a number of other additions to our product portfolio. And all of that work is really enabled and supported by all of the research we've done uh, on, on plot, um, and it's been hugely important to our company. And we've kind of put the heading of NTI, or our, our Neuravi Thromboembolic Initiative, over that work. But it's, uh, it's been a huge part of what's driven our, our innovation. It's the foundation on which our Embotrap technology is built. Would you just briefly describe that, that technology? Because I think it's interesting, since you've spoken about it, to talk about the technology itself. Sure. Um, yeah, well, maybe I'll start with um, the, the, the way in which it started, which was really our interest and our, our belief that in order to solve the problem of acute ischemic stroke, we really need to understand the key player um, at work here, which is, which is clot. And there's remarkably little information in the literature on, uh, on the actual cause of the occlusions itself. And, and that was a problem for us, as, um, certainly as a, as a development company trying to solve the problem. We felt we need to understand this better. So that's what started us down the road of developing our own suite of clot analogues um, to simulate as well as we could human clots of different etiologies. And then when we did that, we realized well, they all look incredibly different, and, which begs the question, do they behave differently? And so we started to look at their mechanical properties, the way they form occlusions, and then the way in which the clot interacts with its environment, you know, the vessel it's in and the, the pressures around it and the blood, but also in the devices that it comes in contact with. And all of that work um, has been hugely um, impactful on the design of the Embotrap device. So we've developed that device really to deal with the fact that there isn't one single type of clot out there. You know, clots are, are not homogenous materials, they're a living biomaterial, they're composed of a lot of soft uh, basically soft friable material but they may have a really firm dense polymer structure as well very which is that fibrin situation. very much so very much so and uh, you know this the research we've done into this uh, for us was fundamental in developing a device but we quickly realized that it was actually really really interesting to a lot of physicians we were talking to as well so in fact in uh, in December of last year we partnered with professor Werner Hacke and we held the world's first uh, clot summit and we had 25 of the key thought leaders from around the world gathered for two days to talk about nothing but plot, which is pretty incredible. It was a great meeting. And uh, you know, coming out of that, I think there's many additional research projects, but it also helped to foster additional collaboration and, uh, uh, and basically people working together to solve the problem now. Very strong foundation to build on. Yeah, I mean, it's been a hugely valuable thing for us. You know, I think it does a few different things. It, it, it opens the doors to conversations with key opinion leaders around the world, which is a, a tremendous thing, you know, at many levels in the company too, not just at a business and commercial level, but also at a technical and research level, and that's tremendously valuable. It, it gives us, I think, unparalleled insight into the unmet needs in stroke, and there are many, you know, the, while the clinical trials that have been come out recently are showing great results, there's still 20 to 30 percent of patients that aren't getting tiki 2 b slash 3. Absolutely, yeah. And then when it does all those things, it, it also gives us a, a really credible platform to go then and present those new technologies to the market and to support them. So, you know, it's, it's been great for us. If you're going to solve a problem, you should really try and understand it first. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing what you're going to be bringing to the meeting next year. We look forward to next year, too. Thank you very much.